Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you a highly demanded uh, estimation method that is already being used in advanced softwares like R and MATLAB. But today, I am going to show you that model and how to do it in Stata. And it has been developed by a uh, long hit and trial working. You can see in the command window, a lot of commands were checked and then to make this command doable uh, in order to make sure that future researchers can learn from it and make very interesting research papers. So be with me during the commands and I will try to make sure that uh, the commands are uh, shown you cl closely and you can uh, you can read the commands in a high font so that you can recreate that work in your uh, research work so i will i will do the commentary with the commands so that you can create it so first of all i will load the data and this data is about two variables and this is one extra it's not used in the analysis there are two variables and this is a stock market data a very long data so that i don't have any problems while doing the analysis so there are around 200 and 2338 observations so this model can run in smaller observations but uh, it's highly likely that it might give error in few cases where the observations are very low so you should use it when the data is very big and this estimation model is called quantile on quantile uh, the idea behind this model is that it will it will estimate a, a quantile regression for all the percentiles of independent variable against the, all the percentiles of dependent variable. So what I will be doing is I will be estimating it 19 percentiles uh, from 5 to 95 to 95 percentiles with a jump of five percentiles so it means there are 19 positions for independent variable similarly there are 19 positions in the independent variable so eventually the data will be 19 into 19 and this will be a matrix and then we will plot a, a, a contour plot or if you can export the data and use any other software to make a 3d plot so we'll start with uh, the coding so you can declare the data as time series although it will not matter because we are not using any time series functions first of all i will divide my independent variable into quantiles so x style new variable name and independent variable mal mal is here and number of quantiles 100 so when i run it so you can see in the data file it will give the look in value of this observation as percentile position that which percentile position it is uh, it will it will arrange the data into increasing order and then rank them in, in 100 percentiles so this way i have the position data then what i will do is that i will i will declare that there will be a matrix that i will make this command can be ignored but it will be useful in in future development of codes that there is a 19 by 19 matrix this will be in the memory it will be not sh shown here and then i will create a temporary uh, i will capture uh, uh, post util clear so any any post utility that is there in the temporary folder it will clear it and if it is if there is nothing to be cleared it will not give an error because i've used the capture command so this command is a function that if any any post uh, post uh, temporary files or temporary data that is in the memory i am declaring it saying it's data to clear it and if it is if there is no data Stata will give an error that there is nothing to clear. So I use the capture so that it will not give me any error. So this is a backup. So then I will create a temporary file named as holding and I will say that it will create a new variable QQR quantile quantile regression J J column and I column. So it's QQR J I you can name it any using any name and the holding the the, the place where that is hold it is holding what what do i will do next is that i will create a loop and i will explain the loop one by one so i will create a loop for i from 1 to 19 and multiply it with by 5 so what it is doing is it will it will 
run 19 times and every time it will create a value that is 5, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 up till 95. So it is creating a data. Then within, within each number which has been estimated 19 times, within each number there is another j that is running 19 times and it is also being multiplied by 5. So first of all the loop is running 19 times and creating a number multiplied by 5 and within each number which is being run 19 times there is another number which is a nested loop with loop within a loop that is running 19 times and creating another value 5, 10, 15, 20. What I will do is quietly, quietly means it will not show the regression results otherwise there will be too much numbers showing on. QREG, quantile regression, dependent variable park, independent variable Malaysia, if mal group is this. So what it will do that it will run the regression if the uh, mal group is, is given as number that is coming here. So first of all the mal group value will be 5 and then mal group value will be 10. So this way every time the regression will run it will have a look which mal group value has been selected and it will uh, shortlist the data, filter the data and run the regression. Then uh, which regression it will run? The quantile value is coming from the second loop. So it means that first of all it will pick the sample from the first loop and then run it 19 times using different percentile values coming from the within loop. Okay. So I will make it a little bigger. So it's less than. So less than the, the percentile value. Then after that it will store the marginal effect and then display the uh, quantile value of independent variable so it's just a report so that if the loop is uh, stuck it will show that the, the numbers will not be changed so it, what it will display the quantile value of independent variable it will show from this loop and dependent variable from this loop and the slope value and then store the slope value as an effect and then when the loop closes uh, it will close the temporary folder and then display uh, make the numbers permanent and and remove the original data so let's let's run it so it will run so every time it is running it is giving me a value so i'm this way in this loop i have i have added a fail safe so that i can see it is working so it is showing me the percentile value of independent variable against the percentile value of dependent variable and its answer so all the numbers are being shown and it's uh, then it will store it in the temporary folder so it's 85 percentile and then 90 and then 90 percentile then 95 so when it is closed you can see that the data is here it should be how many values it should be 361 values all of them are here 19 multiplied by 19 but the problem is that it should be 19 observations and 19 variables 19 columns so what i will do since our data does not have a 3d plot or uh, quantile uh, contour plot from matrices so what it will do what will do there will be two variables first of all percentile values of y it will be a serial numbers like first of all i will run it so it will create a new variable that is showing me percentile values so you can see after every 19 the percentile value of y is changing okay so it's a dependent variable okay then uh, what 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 you should can see is that so this number is actually percentile value of x so it's not percentile value of y it's percentile value of x so what i will do i will run it again and then because uh, the the x value was uh, so this percentile value of x is here now i will drop the wrongly created variable and so that if I correct it as a later on, it should not give an error. Then I will create another variable and then correct this command here, percentile value of y. So when I run these two, these uh, three commands, you can see what it will happen. Uh, there will be a variable percentile x value and then percentile y. So within within each uh, independent variable uh, loop, there is a dependent variable loop and then the answer quantile effect so the data is is quantile effect is same as this value so i just name the numbers so that when i make a graph it will show so let's interpret the value first so that 
when you make a graph. So it is showing us that when the independent variable is below 5 percentile and the dependent variable is below 5 percentile, the quantile effect of x on y is this much. And when the independent variable is below 5 percentile but the y is below x percentile, the quantile effect is this much. So this way, so I will go to the last one. So when the independent variable is below 95 percentile sample, and the y is also below 95% percent sample, the effect is this much. This way, all the numbers are here. So let me close it. So let's go back to the command window. So when I run this two-way contour plot, so what you will see is a contour matrix. So what has happened is that uh, the labels of y and x are here. Okay, so whenever so this is showing that uh, the whenever there's high values of x independent variable and the low values of y variable the effect is mm, smaller but this effect is larger when when the independent variable is smaller but the dependent variable is bigger it's here otherwise it's between 0 and 20 so this uh, this is a quantile and quantile effect plot that you can see on see it on stata but uh, you can convert it into matrix using this command so i have to correct it here also so this way you will have a matrix data that you can move it into any other software maybe r or stata so it is saying the data has an error so you can correct it by let's see uh, i will i will have a look so when you make this command, uh, when you make this, it will give an error because it is saying that when you are converting it, there are other variables that will create a problem. So you have to drop this variable. You have to drop this variable so that uh, software is not confused what to do. So when I come here and I run it again, it will convert it. Here. So you can see now data has it's a matrix. You can copy the data and in my youtube channel you can find videos in r where you can learn how to make a 3d plot or even how to make a 3d plot using this data in matlab and thank you very much for watching try this method in your own data set and let me know in the comments how how did it work i will also share the link of these commands uh, where you can download it but there's another video in my channel there where you can copy the codes while you are watching the video do try, try that method so that uh, you can quickly adopt uh, what is going on thank you very much